Good morning, people. It's another beautiful day, and we are going to take you another majestic trek. Behind me is our target for the day, that is called Gavaravila. Gavaravila is named after one of those extinct animals now, which is known as Gava, or something similar to a bison. It's believed Gavas had lived in this plains called Gavaravila. Thus, the name came about as the plains where Gavas lived as Gavaravila, or in single, it's uh, known as Gavara Visu Villa Gavara Villa. It's more like a plains uh, on a massive mountain. It's uh, well over 1800 meters in elevation. If you know uh, Horton Plains, this, this is something similar to that. So we are going to explore it. And behind me, uh, you can see the Gartmo Division, Gartmo T Estates, Progmo T Estates, and far in the far, you can probably see the Mouse Sakele Reservoir. So hopefully today we'll be able to reach Gavariville and explore to the beauty of this beautiful country, Pearl of the Indian Ocean, Sri Lanka. And this is my second visit in fact because I came here in 2016. But the weather was gloomy and it was rainy so we couldn't enjoy this beautiful panoramic views. But today we are very lucky. Hopefully that will stay and we will be able to take you through the entire journey. So stay tuned people, let's see what awaits us in the next couple of hours. Alright, now you are seeing the Gavaravila Plains. As you can see, it's sort of like a mountain, but it has a plains right in the middle. I'll tell you more about it, but right now, where I am standing is at 1723 meters in elevation. That's a little over 5,600 feet. You can see the Gavarivilla mountain and the plains is in the middle, so we need to reach there. So this is a very protected site. You need prior permission uh, in order to go and explore it. We have obtained it from the relevant authorities. Therefore, I, I would like to request you to follow the same if you, are, if you ever want to visit this place. I know it can be a very arduous process, but still you would need to follow the due process. And in the distance you can see Mausa Kale Reservoir. Water levels are pretty low. Beyond that is the Nallatanya Sripada Road, where you can start the trek to the Sripada Mountain. Or Adam's Peak, very sacred mountain in the world. And I'm just going to show you around. Alright, let's talk about more. Right, this is the beautiful upcountry tea estates of Muskelia, Gartmo, Progmo and further afield Lakshapana and all these areas. Now you can see the beautiful Mausa Kale Reservoir which is also called Muskelia Reservoir. Because Muskelia Oya flows into that reservoir and which is the main tributary. And further in the distance we can see the estates of Mare and Peak Fields. Gartmo Falls, which falls into that Mausakali Reservoir is somewhere there, but we can see it from this angle. Alright, let's carry on people. You are seeing this panoramic view once again through this beautiful window that opens up to the Mausa Kale. To the right is Gauravila Plains soaring into the sky. That is well over 1900 meters, I think. That point. Gauravila Plains by and large is something around 1820 to 1830 meters in terms of elevation. You can see one of the Gauravilla uh, waterfalls known as Gartmo Upper Cascades over there at the distance. Once again you are seeing this beautiful panoramic views on our way to Gauravilla Plains. 
This is just incredible people. I just can't get enough of this view. Simply out of this world. Feels I'm in heaven. Though I'm still alive. So if you want to go to heaven and experience heaven. While you are alive. Just come to a place like this. It's the, there's no better place than Gavara Villa. Absolutely incredible. It said one picture is worth thousand words. But what you are seeing is worth more than one billion words. Just absolutely fantastic. Okay people, we are just about to get into this upcountry forest. From here onwards, it's going to be a trek along this mountain upcountry forests into the Gaudavilla plains. And once again, I'm just showing you the surrounding areas just before we vanish into the this thick forest cover. We'll be crossing uh, one of the Gardmo Falls upstream and if you are lucky enough, we should be able to get up to that point of one of the Gartmo upper falls. The waterfall you are seeing, we should be able to get on top of that. That's about 1815 meters in elevation. So we are right now at 1720 odd meters. So our elevation gain is going to be around 100 meters. And this is the forest I've been telling you about. And we will have to get into this thick forest cover and weave our way through this dense jungle. Doesn't look very inviting, but now that we are here, there's no stopping us. This kind of beauty is only for those who are trekking to Gavara Villa. So I'm trying to take you through this dense forestry trail. I know it's next to impossible, yet I wanted to share as much of this journey as possible with you so that you can get a real feeling for what we are doing right now. It's just incredible. But the thing is, the path is so unforgiving. It keeps tagging onto our clothes, trying to tear them apart. Other than that, we are enjoying it because the weather is absolutely fantastic. Fingers crossed. And hopefully, it will remain like that for the remainder of our journey. So let me take you a little bit more. Here the clearing is uh, slightly better. But I don't think we can go any further. Right, going to stop you here. Take a break. This is a very rare plant, an endemic one to Sri Lanka. This is called as Sudhu or white binara, found only in the upcountry mountain forests. Incredible found. All right, we have come to another small clearing. Here, the forest looks very much like what you find at Horton Plains. All the plants and trees found at Horton Plains can be seen here. I'm not surprised because now we are at an elevation close to 6,000 feet, which is also slightly below than Horton Plains. We can also see some of these cardamom plants which are not very commonly found in upcountry but sort of like in the central hills like knuckles and those mountain ranges. I think Gavaravilla is something like between the topmost part and the middle section. Just like an intermediate range ballistic missile. I know it's not the perfect example but that will give you an idea in terms of Gavraville location and its flora and fauna. Okay, now you can see the path. I'm like walking really, really slow because I want to ensure that you, you are able to see this. Now the terrain is slightly changing. You can see there are waterways coming along this footpath and it's very slippery. You got to watch your step. While I'm on the lookout for the one of the upper Gartmore Falls crossings, it seems to eluding us 
all the time but I just thought instead I'll show you this beautiful path because there are some flat areas where I can walk you through but there are so many obstacles my walking stick keeps getting tangled along these creepers bamboo bushes and all this okay we have yet another beautiful spider right let's carry on people I managed to get a couple of pictures of that spider which was looking absolutely breathtaking I really wish the path was like this all the way because there are no obstacle on either side but all the time except this little area we were obstructed by the mother nature she probably doesn't need us intruding into her domain although we mean no harm we are actually sons of mother nature who wants to protect her just like our eyes I don't think after being abused and raped over and over again by our careless and heartless travelers she must be wary of everybody else so naturally she would fight her way out even though we mean no harm that's one of the pathetic sides of the traveling these days because most of the people they just want to come here enjoy it and after they go they don't want to leave it to anybody else just ruin it though there are some travelers who take good care of mother nature the bad done by the others is so much greater okay people finally we are here at the water stream this actually makes one of the beautiful upper garden waterfalls when you are seeing from muskelia nallathani areas the one on the right is this one but we can't see the waterfall it's because it go, this water flows downstream and then creates the waterfall but this is a nice little place for you to enjoy a bit of uh, resting time and have a snack which is exactly what we're going to do we are going to have our breakfast here i'll show you around afterwards
All right, we are continuing our journey. I hope you enjoyed that beautiful water stream with crystal clear pools and a tiny waterfall. Don't worry about those sounds. We are just clearing our path. However, on this side of the stream, the path looks more prominent, clear and free of obstacles. However, it's not even. We need to keep checking our steps, especially when I'm doing these videos for you. So we, we had our breakfast at the stream, but you need to be very careful not to leave anything behind. Otherwise, it's going to ruin this pristine wilderness. All right, let's carry on people from here on my own. Right, I'm going to walk you through this beautiful archway. Now, I was going to tell you, this Gavara Villa is, before that, look at this path people. It's absolutely breathtaking, because on either side you can see these tiny Nelu plants, and the, in the middle the path is very clear. It's as if you are walking through heaven. Now, coming back to where I wanted to take you, Gavaravali is located close to the border between Sabaragamu and Central Provinces. I need to get that right. And at an elevation of 1820 plus meters, this is a plain, but when you compare it against Horton Plains, relatively small, the perimeter of the Gavaravila Plains is approximately 2.5 kilometers. Now don't ask me how I know this all this stuff because I took the trouble to find them out. So the surface area of the Gavril Plains is approximately 21 hectares. If I'm not mistaken, it's approximately 45 acres in size. There's a river which I have named it as Gavadavila Oya. If you have been following my Sripada video series, you would know about all these rivers. Now there is a spider here. I'll bypass it and tell you about it. This is to give you an idea of the uphill path we have to go. I'm slightly panting actually. We have trekked close to 3 kilometers by now. The altitude gain is a little over 30 meters. Alright, let's go. I was going to tell you about the river in the middle of Ga Gavada Villa, but before that I want to show you how the path is now, sort of like fully covered. There are many obstacles to maneuver through. This one is also one of the very rare spaces, if I'm not mistaken. Now we have come about 3.4 kilometers. And the elevation is now at uh, around 1760 meters. It looks as if we have a bit more to go. Though I did it uh, this trail about four years ago, I can't quite recall the distance I trekked at that time because I wasn't very interested in measuring all those things. Okay, people, we have some wonderful news. Finally, after a while, we are here at Gavara Villa. I know you are wondering where the Gavara Villa is. Because we are looking for a beautiful plain, right? It is there on to our right. I'm just trying to make you curious. Right, without much ado, let's get into the plains. Here we are finally at Gavara Villa people. 
looking absolutely breathtaking. Let's get into the plains. Right, this is the view of Gavra Villa as soon as you enter into the plains. You can see that massive mountain which we saw just before we started our trek. I think that place must be around 1900 meters in terms of elevation. Right now we are standing at close to 1800 meters, somewhat contrary to what Google Earth said, but this plane is absolutely breathtaking. This is the Gaura Villa Plains, looking so nice. I actually want to correct something because last time when I did the Gaura Villa specification, I said it's approximately 41 acres. It should be corrected as 51 acres, 21 hectares. So I apologize for the mistake, people. Okay, people, I'm going to blow your mind away. What you can see in the distance, that's the most sacred mountain in the entire world. That is mighty Sri Father. Just absolutely incredible. Oh my God, I just can't believe my eyes. Because last time I came here, it was all gloomy and cloudy. I didn't even know Sri Pada was on that side. But today is my lucky day. I think second time lucky. It's just incredible. Oh my goodness. And not only that I'm lucky, you are also lucky people. Just look at this. Absolutely first class view. Okay, let me see if I can zoom the Sri Pada further. Alright, I'm going to zoom Sri Pada further into the frame. Hopefully it's in focus. I wonder if you can make out any pilgrims. This is just incredible. Okay people, I'm going to give you a 360 degree view of Gavara Villa. Let's get started. You can see Sri Pada mountain right in the middle now, rising into the sky just like a triangle or even a pyramid. And below Sri Pada is the mountain forest, typical upcountry virgin mountain forest. And further down below is this Gavara Villa Plains full of grass in the middle that we can't see but I, can, I think you can see that slight depression in the grass that's the Gavara Villa Oya which originates from Gavara Villa Plains actually there is no proper name to it but I've decided to call it Gavara Villa Oya she creates one of the upper Gartmo waterfalls the left hand side one when you see it from Nallatanni and Maskeli areas. If you remember, we crossed the right hand side water stream on our way when we had breakfast. You can see this massive mountain range on top of Gavaravilla Plains. Now you can see this beautiful, typical oval shape upcountry plains, pretty much similar to Horton Plains or oh, even chariot path if you remember right let me come around a little bit more okay continuing to the right now we are coming back to the forest area where we came into the plains it's quite near the Gavraville Oya originates from somewhere up there okay, I'm going to come around Try and complete this 360 degree view. Now as you can see we are so much closer to the forest patch. Because this is the area where we came into the Kauravila Plains. Sun is thankfully up in the sky right above us. So we can capture this beautiful 360 degree view. The problem is I need to keep switching 
my steps in order to stay balanced just wait while I regain my balance all right I managed to successfully switch to the other leg now we are completing our journey this is the path we came into the Gaudavila Plains as you can see in the middle so we are pretty much closer to the forest area it's very dry up here because last time when I came it was uh, dewy misty and foggy but today we are so lucky we can see all the way to Sripada so I'm going to bring this footage back to Sripada and in this perfect circle there we are people there's so much to see let's get going okay I'm just trying to show you only this Gavadavila Plains and the mountain range because I thought it's it looks so beautiful and isolated there are no humans it's just simple and elegance of mother nature she has created this specially for you and for me looking so beautiful and out of this world I just can't express the feeling inside my heart because it's thumping so hard. I wonder if you can hear that too. This is Gavari Villa Plains at her very best. Now this is the Gavari Villa Oya, which flows right in the middle of the Gavari Villa Plains. You can see the mountain range in the background. There are some typical upcountry trees, especially this Maharatmal tree to the right. Rhododendra. You can probably hear the water. And on to the left is the continuation of the river. I will come and give you a very close up look of this. But right now we are pressed for something else. We are going to carry on to the top of Upper Gartmoor Falls. The one we saw. We are trekking along this river, Gavaraviloya, to reach the top of Upper Gartmoor waterfall. We are now near the top of Upper Gartmoor waterfall. You can, see, you can see that window opening up.
Okay, people, I think you must have enjoyed our visit to the top of Gartmore Falls, where we saw one of the most beautiful views in this entire world. Now we are coming back to the Gauravilla Plains. You can see the Gauravilla Oya in the middle. In the behind, the Gauravilla Mountain Range and the Montane Forest. This river is approximately one kilometer in length across these plains. I'm sure it's longer than that. This is creating the upper Gardmore Falls left hand side one and the right hand side one was created by the one we crossed in the morning on our way to the Gaudavilla Plains. As you can see the sun is behind us now so we can enjoy these beautiful panoramic vistas of rolling hills from here. This plains is not even so there are ups and downs as you can see in this video. Let's carry on. This river in the middle is the Gavaraviloya, which reminds me of Horton Plains and the Belihulloya. Remember the Wallaveganga upstream? Belihulloya creates Gonagalella, also known as Baker's Falls, further upstream, Chimney Pond and Slabrock Falls. And this river, Gavaraviloya, creates Upper Gardmo Falls and the Gartmo Falls, which falls into the Mausakele Reservoir. Absolutely out of this world. This is another vantage point on our way upstream of this river. So we are technically river trekking now. We actually don't get into the water because we don't want to pollute it un unnecessarily. Instead we are trying to trek along the river bank without trampling so much grass because we know there is so much flora and fauna that we can't see so we don't want to harm them and avoid harming them as much as possible all right endless waves are continuing i hope you are not going to get tired of this because i'm not going to get tired of it and you can see the river at the bottom of the frame. I'm trying to get that also into this so that that will make a nice beautiful picture. I don't think I can do that without cropping the mountain. Let's pan around people. All right, all right. That's where the river starts. Towards that side because that's one of the high grounds. So the Gavaravil Oya originates from that side. So if you were to follow this upstream, you can probably go to the starting point. Though we don't have that plan. This is yet another wonderful location. You can see the river on either side of the frame. The plain in the middle and the mountain rising into the sky full of fluffy white clouds and royal blue in color. This is a scene made in heaven and brought down to the earth especially for you and me. Please protect these people. So I'm going to pan you around once more because no matter how much I film or take photographs I don't feel like I've taken enough if I had the means, I'm going to stay here for the next couple of years and explore every inch of this beautiful place. Sadly, it is not a practical one. Nevertheless, just enjoy this while we can because we never know at the rate of the destruction is causing to our mother nature how long places like this will last. I hope with the blessings of God, Saman and Triple Gems, places like this will be protected, at least by those gods. Because the humans are not interested in protecting this thing. Alright people, just before we wrap up our journey, 
wanted to show you Sripada once again. Now the sun is on the wrong side. So she doesn't look as glamorous as in the morning. However, look at this. You can keep looking at her forever. It's just an amazing sight. And I felt so lucky and fortunate to have been here today enjoying this beautiful artistic efforts of mother nature it's just fantastic and you can't get any luckier than this let's zoom in a little bit more okay that's three father for you and let's wrap up our journey with another view of the Gaudavilla plains okay my friends this is time to end our journey but I'm just showing you this beautiful Gaudavilla Plains once more because you just can't get enough of this and I really wonder what it would have been uh, like when those Gavars were roaming around this area that would have been a sight to behold them running around these plains looking absolutely breathtaking think of a safari scene from African savanna. This is just absolutely first class. Right, I know I'm not going to get enough of this no matter how much I video or photograph. So I'm going to end my journey at this point. I'll end uh, with a vlog, a mandatory vlog. I have to do this because I never know when I'm going to be able to come and enjoy this beauty again. Okay friends, this is free. It's time to say goodbye from this heaven on earth. It was so beautiful and wonderful to have been here and enjoy this beauty of the mother nature. So as usual, I'm signing off with the typical message that I have to tell you. Please help protect this mother nature. Don't litter, don't leave anything behind. Even when you come to enjoy this place, Number one, seek permission, talk to the relevant authorities and let, let them know that you are coming here. Come in small groups, don't come in like 20, 30, 40 people. And also when you come in here, stick to one path. Please uh, follow one another because if you start roaming around all over this place, you are going to cause so much damage which will be irreparable in the days to come. And also don't leave anything behind, try and not uh, light any fires. Because especially in the dry season, there's a chance this entire plane will get burnt out. Just like what's happening in L and all these areas. So with that message, I'll sign off. We'll meet you once again on another beautiful day like this. Until then, stay safe. Cheerio and take care.
Okay, people, we have now finished our Gavadavila trek. You can see we are back at the trailhead. From here, we can enjoy the Gavadavila mountain range and the plains up in the sky, looking absolutely phenomenal. Just look at this. Now, the sun is behind us, the mountain is beautifully lit. Therefore, we can see this really, really well. You can see to the right is one of the upper Gartmoor waterfalls. The one we just came back from. It was such a privilege to have been there, being able to see Sripada, the most sacred mountain in the world, and spend some quality time with the Mother Nature. You can see now at the edge of the Gavaravila Plains and the Mausakele Reservoir in the distance. Let me check uh, if I can do another video before we wrap up our journey from here. I think this could be the end of our journey. I know I've been telling you this all this time, even from Gavaravil itself. But this is this uh, seems to be a nice place to end our journey. We can see Mausakele Reservoir, uh, the tea estates of Moray, Peakfield, Nallathanni and Lakshapana. And in the foreground we can see Gartmo Estate and Moka Estate and Progmo Estate. I know they sound so alien, but they are more or less Scottish words. And coming back towards Gavravila, she's such a beautiful and grandeur lady, absolutely first class. I just can't get enough of it. Now to show you the top of the waterfall we stayed, if you see to the right, there's sort of like a small U up in the sky. That's where we stayed. So I videoed and showed you the lower part of that waterfall, the continuation of the same upper Gartmoor waterfall. And this is the Gavravila Plains up in the sky. This you can see from Sripada very beautifully, especially when facing Hatton uh, Trail. Okay, then we'll uh, bid farewell from here.